Before you start, take a quick look at what you need to run the software. Keep in mind that EFI software works with PCs only, no Apple products. By the way, this info is also on page 4 in the user manual. The diagnostic software kit includes everything you need. Software CD with serial number, driver software information, diagnostic interface cable, USB to serial adapter, and instructions. Start with the Read Me First pages. They have important information that's not in the user manual. First register and install the software. The first time you run the software, it will prompt you to enter the serial number. You'll find it on the sticker of the CD sleeve. After you enter the serial number, the number turns green and you're good to go. This information is also on page 8 of the user manual. Registering your EFI diagnostic software is a must. For the first 30 days, you'll have full access to the software. But every time you use it, a message appears telling you how many days you have left. Remember, if you don't register, it only works for 30 days. When software updates are made, you can find them at diagsys.com. Select Kohler from the left-hand navigation, then choose Downloads. Okay, let's launch and communicate with the software. Use the serial cable and or the USB adapter to connect your computer with the engine. Click the EFI software icon on your desktop. It brings up the EFI diagnostic desktop. Then the vehicle selection menu appears. Check the engine identification decal for the model number you're working on. Select the vehicle you're working with and be sure the engine key is on. Here I'm choosing the ECH ECV 630 to 749 engine. Remember, the key must be turned on to communicate. After we select the engine, the main screen is displayed. Check the status bar on the lower left to confirm the connection. Remember, you have to choose an engine type and the ignition key must be on to create a communication link. When the link is established, it says status connected. In part two, we'll look at trouble codes.